Hi everyone, Cinder here, and welcome to another day in Stardew Valley. It'll be clear and sunny all day. Spirits are in good humor today. What to talk about today? Uh, dear valued customer, thanks for visiting Pierre's and close is your cashback rewards program rebate. See you soon, Pierre. P.S. Sorry for the stock, Mr. Syndrome. Enjoy. 470 gold and closed. I have a cashback rewards program? That's really cool. I didn't know I had a cashback rewards program at Pierre's shop. That's neat. And I only got 470 from it? Like, that's the other thing. <laughs> with as much as I've spent at the shop. Anyway, that's how those Cashback Wars programs are. <laughs> um, this video will actually be close to when other videos will come out. I've not had a chance to really do a lot of, uh, record a lot of Stardew Valley lately, and I, you know, it's pretty much been caught up, which is not good, because I don't typically have a lot of time to record this, so... I need to record a bunch of episodes. Um, no Man's Sky comes out soon. And a couple of my friends are getting it. And I think it's something I would like to play. But... I don't know. I, uh... I definitely see the appeal behind it. Now, I play Elite Dangerous. So, I do play a... A game where you fly around and stuff. And No Man's Sky, you fly to other planets and you name things. The whole naming things would be the thing that uh, I wouldn't like. What's what's cool is if somebody finds your planet eventually, because the world is supposed to be absolutely ginormous. Just insanely large. The the universe. Um, galaxy, whichever is bigger. Anyway. Um, You, you name things, like if you, you find this animal, what is this animal going to be named? It's going to be named... I don't know, you come up with some name for it. Rex, like, because it looks like a T-Rex, so this shall be known as Rexes. That's plural. <laughs> should be known as a Rex. And if somebody come, comes, finds your planet someday, and, you know, scans it... They don't name it, you already named it. It, it is known as a Rex. Oh, okay. That, that's really cool. Like, I like that aspect of it. And, you know, flying around. I just don't know how much there is to do in No Man's Sky. I haven't looked that much into it. I just know my friends are super excited for it. Um, let me know in the comments. I'm trying to think days-wise when this is coming out. Um, I don't think No Man's Sky will be out yet. If it's already out and you've played it by the time this episode comes out, let me know. How are you enjoying it? <laughs> I'm hoping you're having a lot of fun with it. If it hasn't come out yet, which I don't think it is, are you getting it? And uh, tell me what intrigues you about the game. Because like I said, I don't know... I don't know that much about it, just what my friends have told me. And, um... It sounds like a really cool idea. So... Just, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm curious. Um, that's all I got. I don't, <laughs> I don't have much right now. Um, it's just the same, same old pattern for, for yours truly here. Uh, lately. I've uh, recorded FF6, or not FF6, sorry. <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting if I was recording that. Um, no, I've, I've recorded some uh, Fire Emblem 6. Um, almost through with Legend of Lagaya. That's that's interesting. Almost reached the end there. Um, What else is going on? I just blanked out on all... Oh, Echoes of Etheria, which I am thoroughly enjoying. If you haven't checked out that Let's Play, it won't be that far in yet. Um, 
if you like RPGs, do yourself a favor and, and check that out right now. Because it is really good. I am really, really good. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Or check it out yourself. <laughs> do even one better. Um, I think it's 15 on Steam. If you like RPGs, I cannot recommend it more right now. now I haven't played the whole thing. It's a blind let's play. But from what I have played so far, it's it's really, really good. If it, if it keeps up on, on this pace of like the storytelling, the world telling, um, characters, uh, the combat, skill system, I, if it... If it keeps up on this pace, definitely, definitely uh, check it out and yeah, get it yourself. It's made by uh, Dancing Dragon Games and uh, if you watch Skyborn, that Let's Play, that was their, I don't know if it was their first game, but it was a game that, uh, that they did. And... I did a Let's Play on it a while ago. Oh, better. And you can just tell they took... They took things from Skyborne that worked. And worked on everything that didn't. It, they, they took suggestions. You could, you could tell. They, like, listened to people and, and made it better. Um... Swift in the the comments, I remember him saying this was, you know, hey, it's like they they watched your your let's play and listened to the suggestions you had because so far a lot of the suggestions I had during Skyborn because I thought Skyborn was a pretty good RPG, nothing spectacular or anything, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, but like the suggestions there, it's like they they took those and really listen to them. <laughs> it's like they listened to my Let's Play and took those suggestions. And I highly doubt that was the case. You know, there, there's no way. that They just knew that I did a Let's Play of it. Because um, they gave me Steam Key to, to play uh, Echoes of Etheria, which is super cool. And that's nice of them to do that. Uh, considering I'm a smaller channel in the grand scheme of things. But I doubt they, like, had somebody watch my Let's Play and... <laughs> oh, man, this guy really knows RPGs. You know, he said this. We should do that. Yeah, I wish. I wish I had that kind of fool. Um, but it's really good. <laughs> so far, again, you know, a game can, you know, fall off or trail off or any... Or, you know, something like that. Um... But so far, just everything is done well. The story is very intriguing. I'm intrigued by the characters, where the story is going. The world is very interesting. They have this lore section, if you've not seen it, where you can uh, get more information about the different like kingdoms, characters, um, like key key phrases. You know, what is this about? And you can find uh, books. By like searching around, and I've just found a few that give like additional lore. Um, having that, there's a lot put into the world building. Like, I can already tell just from the lore standpoint, and I'm waiting to see see it all like come into play. Uh, a few things have, and something else that I really enjoy is the uh, the skills. And how some of the skills are explained in plot, which is awesome. I think that's so great when RPGs do that. Like, for example, it's like, oh, why does this skill cost so much? Like, MP or whatever. It's not MP in uh, Echoes of Etheria. It's, uh, you use your HP to cast healing spells. And I don't want to spoil anything that happens. But, um, basically, it's like, why does this skill cost so much? so much HP 
but it's explained in plot. Like, it happens in plot, and it's like, oh, yeah, that happened, so it makes sense that the skill is this way. I, it's fantastic when RPGs do that, because they so very rarely do. And just like, oh, that's just the way it is. And we, we accept that, because that happens so much in RPGs, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I love that Echoes took that extra step, and it's like, hey, the skill was used in plot, so now you know what to expect. And this has only happened not even a handful of times, just like twice I can think of. Um, that, hey, it's used this way in plot, so you, get, you know what you're getting into. And then it's actually a skill to use in combat. It's not just a a plot skill. That's so cool. I'm just walking around. I really don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I find that so neat. How have you been, my young friend? Have grapes. I think it's just really neat that they've... That they did that. Just The whole game just seems very well put together right now and I, ho I hope it keeps keeps all of it up because if it does it it's a where do I want to go um to get bait um because if it can keep this pace it will be a, a fantastic uh indie RPG title. And I know my RPGs, so... <laughs> I, it could be... Uh, special. Just what I needed. Bug me. So if you, if you haven't check, uh, checked out Echoes of Etheria yet, and you're an RPG fan, Check it out for sure. I uh, highly recommend it. Because now I know I can do this just because it's funny. How dare you attack me? Um, you can attack me. You give me what I want. So yeah, that's all I've got uh, to say about, about that for now. Because I'm trying my hardest not to av avoid the s spoilers that have happened so far <laughs> in the story. Just, if you like RPGs, uh, check it out for yourself. It's $10, $15 on Steam. Some something like that. And, uh... If you like RPGs, it's, it's worth it. It's good. It, it's really good so far. It's, I'll say it's excellent so far. Um, almost the end of the day. Good, because I ran out of things to talk about. Oh yeah, I actually want to see this. Attack me! <laughs> you didn't drop bug meat. Attack me and drop bug meat. <laughs> There we go. Oh, that was great. Come on, need bait. <laughs> when I decide to go fishing. Okay. That will work. that there. Rest could go in the rod. Good. Um, oh, again? I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, if you have checked out the, uh, the Let's Play, if you're watching it as well, along with Stardew Valley, um, no spoilers or anything. You know, don't say specifically what you, what you like about Echoes, because... You know, just in case somebody wants to check it out and hasn't yet. Um, say, you know, just say if, you, if you're if you enjoying the game yet or not. 
yet or not. Yeah, just say, say if you're enjoying it or not, basically. <laughs> and, uh... I guess I should be watching my, my LP. If you're enjoying the LP, let me know. Because <laughs> I know I'm really enjoying playing it. Very much so. Yeah, now we're talking. Good. Alright, that's... Way more than I thought I was going to get, so... Great. There we go. Now we're ready to go fishing. <laughs> <coughs> and that... <coughs> Sorry, um, that will end today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you had a lot of fun. Go to sleep for the night. Level 9 Combat. Plus 5 HP. New crafting recipe. Iridium Band. Interesting. We'll have to check that out next time. Not that I have the Iridium to make it. But... We'll check it out nonetheless. Uh, just the mayonnaise today. Until tomorrow, I'm Cinderella 9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.